No way, yeah, yeah, yeah. wow. Wild bad eye. Wow, how about that? That's my eye. <laughs> is this you? Uh, where, where was this? Rebel Sport Miranda. Oh, Miranda, yeah, 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 that's right. <laughs> Cam, welcome. Thanks for sitting down and having a chat with us. You're living the dream, aren't you? Yeah, absolutely loving my time here so far and just can't wait to have many great moments, which I know is, is going to come and yeah, just absolutely living the dream. How did the, uh, the opportunity come around? You'd already signed for, for Newcastle and all of a sudden, in a short period of time, there was an opportunity to come here. I was actually at my agent for, for dinner um, with a few, few of the boys he looks after and um, he got a text at the time I was sitting at the dinner table with him saying hearts are interested and, and I was just like yeah that would that would be unbelievable but that's you don't really think much of it you just say yeah of course like that, well, we had a zoom call with the gaffer and they were interested and the contract was there pretty much straight away which for me was just a whirlwind I just yeah couldn't believe it to be honest I pretty much signed it straight away and just said yeah I want to go I was quite lucky with you know Wellington more understanding because that's where I was previously and and Newcastle obviously I had, hadn't signed, I signed there but hadn't hadn't been at the club before so it was a bit bit of a strange one but yeah just I'm here now which is yeah still pinching myself to be honest. Any Australian when they get the call to know that they're, they're actually coming over to the UK or to Europe to, to play the sport the, the job that they love to do every single day it's to know that's actually a reality and not a dream anymore was it was emotional so yeah it was just a special moment for me and my family and one that you know was probably one of the, the better days of my life. You know, when you came over, you came over for the, the derby against uh, Hibs. You found yourself on the bench, you didn't make the team. What was that like? That was really good for me to just kind of sit on the bench. And I, of course, I was busting to get out there in a derby and it was so unreal seeing the crowd and their, their away fans and obviously our fans was, was, was so cool and surreal. I felt like when I was watching it going like, this is it, this is what it's all about. This is why we, why we want to come over here. Is it, has it been a big step up for you? Uh, there is a difference. I think it's a lot quicker over here and the pressing side of it's a lot more and they're a lot fitter and it is faster. But I, I do think the A-League is a very underrated league. I actually think it's really coming a long way and I think the quality of players are, are, are really good and I just think that the fan side of thing is the big difference. The, the passion of, of football in Australia isn't where I think it should be. Whereas over here you can just see the fans that all they look forward to during the week is, is the game on the weekend, the team they support and they live and breathe for their club. You played Rangers a couple of weeks ago. What was that like to play in a big game like that at Ibrox? Yeah, that was a that was a pinch yourself moment for sure. You've, you've heard about the Ibrox and the sort of atmosphere it creates and it was one that I can't even describe. It was unbelievable, something I've never seen before. I remember warming out for the warm up and we got booed and that was quite loud and then we walked out for the game and that was just so loud when they sang their song. So you're saying it's cool to get booed by 55,000 people? Yeah, well, just, I, I kind of <laughs> like being the enemy, don't I? How was Tokyo? What was it like, the experience going to the Olympics? Yeah, that was unbelievable, something I'm so grateful for. I, didn't, I only got to come off the bench for 10-odd for minutes in the, in the last game, which was a bit of a shame, but it's one of those ones you, you're surrounded by the best 18-odd players in, in under 20, under 23. So it was, to be a part of that is something I'm grateful for. I'm so glad that Graham Arnold thought I was worthy of getting a spot there. And, you know, not everyone gets to say they're an Olympian. You had time and been able to think about, you know, potentially the soccer rules in the future. The, the pinnacle for any player really to play for their country is, I know personally, to play for my country would be such an emotional day for me. And you do think about it, I definitely do think about it, but it's something that I know that the only way I'm going to get there is if I perform when I'm wearing the Hearts jersey. What would you say to any young kid coming through, like, you know, if you think about five years ago? If, you, if you're a young kid, you're growing up and you want to play professional football, there's no reason why you can't do it. 90, 95% of, of getting to where you want to be in professional football is down to your attitude. And there's players that go a lot further because of their attitude rather than having more ability. And I feel like that's probably me in, in a way. I, don't, I feel like there's players that are, have a lot more ability than me, but maybe just the, the mental side of the game, they, they, they might not have as, as strong as what I believe I do. And, what, what do you see yourself doing or hope that you've accomplished in, say, five years' time? To play at Hearts right now is, is the dream and I'm, I'm so happy. And I, but I, of course, I want to give back to the club that gave me my first opportunity when I, to come to Europe. But the dream goal in, in five or so years would be to play in the English Premier League. And that's a dream that, when you're at home, feels so far. And, but now that I've come over here and I'm playing every week and you know you get to experience the, the crowd and you get more belief and you think, oh, I can actually do this. That's why when I go out on the weekend, I'm just trying to give 110% every single game and every single moment on the game and yeah, win trophies for hearts and you know, my first European tro trophy in, in European football will be pretty cool. That's going straight to the pool. <laughs>